As the climate crisis pushes global temperatures higher, big cities are feeling the heat, with thermometer readings twice as high as rural areas. The combination of air conditioning, traffic buildup, and the lack of fountains or green corridors means cities can be a heat trap for the most vulnerable. So, how can we make our cities cooler, quickly? How do we design our public spaces? And how do we make sure that the buildings have uh, are uh, better insulated, thermally insulated to protect the people inside. But generally bringing temperatures down in cities by using special types of materials and technologies, but also nature, 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 and water in the surface to bring temperatures down. We should keep air conditioning like medicine, giving it to people when they really need it and really keeping it at minimum use. Any delay in implementing measures would risk aggravating the situation further. Professor Harriet Buckley, urban warming expert, advocates immediate action. The first thing, keep what we've got. And the second thing is to try to introduce more uh, nature and blue areas into cities. And a lot of our tarmac in cities is also very dark. And the more darker surfaces that we have in cities, the more heat they will absorb. We could start by just painting our roof white. That could be in the form of green walls, green roofs, small street parks, shaded trees. We can think about depaving, uh, so removing some of the pavement that we have in our cities. Actually introducing blue areas into cities can be a bit faster than growing the nature that we need in cities to support us. Some cities have successfully implemented measures, such as Malmo, Paris, Milan, Barcelona or Lisbon. But experts warn against the danger of inaction by governments. Adding scientific research has identified the main factors contributing to global warming in cities.